Hi kiddos, I miss you all so much. This week I thought that we could combine two forms of art. The first is origami, which is the Japanese art of folding paper into shapes and figures and drawing. So this is what I'm gonna show you how to make. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Endless possibilities. Now, I promise you, this is not very painful. It's very, very easy to make. I'm really gonna break it down, take it slow, and help walk you through it. Have fun. Okay, we need to start with a square piece of paper. Is this a square piece of paper? Okay, so to make a square paper, we are going to fold one corner over to the side like so, press down. Then we're going to put that flap at the top off, just like if you were to make a fortune tell. A lot of these steps uh, to this tutorial are very similar to making a fortune teller. All right, now I square a piece of paper and my first fold is already done for me. My second fold is going to be the other corner to the opposite corner like so. So when you open this up, it should have a big X through the center of your page. Like this. Next, just like a fortune teller, each of the four corners need to be lit up to the exact center. Really make sure that your creases are all lined up. Okay, once your four corners are folded up, double check that your edges are folded down really, really well. Then you're going to flip your paper over, open it up, and now we're going to fold each edge to the center of our page like this. Again, you should have all of your creases so that they line up. So watch where my finger goes here. Notice how it looks like these lines or these creases are extending. Do this all four sides. I know it sounds kind of silly, but a lot of times origami, just making these folds is really helpful for a few steps. Open it up. Fold the flap towards the middle. And this is my fourth side. So again, tons of creases. They're going to become very, very important for the next steps. Alrighty. So I have two edges towards each other to make a long rectangle. Now this is the trickiest part, so watch carefully. Did you get that? Let's watch it again. Again. Perfect. Now that we figured that fold out, we're going to turn our paper around and do the exact same thing on the other side. I promise you, once you figure out how to do the first side, the second side is easy peasy. Okay, once you're, you should have a square that has a whole bunch of little flaps that are going around. This is really important because this is where we'll be drawing the different parts of our emoji. Looks great. Step, you need to find something circular in your house. I'm using a cup from the cupboard and all I'm gonna do is just center it and then draw a circle like so. Then you need to move a couple flaps, put your tray back on, trace around to your second circle, and 
take it off. Do one more flippity flip flip flip. Excellent. And trace around a third time. Excellent. Look at all the circles. All done. <laughs> okay, maybe not. The next step is to start drawing our emojis. So just remember, the top is for the emojis eyes, the bottom half is for the emojis mouth. Try to make sure each part of your emoji is completely different. So don't make circular eyes on three. All right, so I just sped up because you really don't need to watch me draw every single step, but you kind of get the point. I'm adding a little of color here. And then after I paused my video, I went ahead and I colored each of my emojis. So now it's all done. Just flip and see cool combinations you can create. And that's all there is to it. I hope you had lots of fun, guys. Make sure that you let me know how your art project goes. Thanks.